Yeah, well, um... I'm back! What's up everyone? Welcome back to Tech Support 101. Yes! 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 I haven't been uploading in um, in a quite a while. When was my last video? Yeah, a, m a month ago. Nice. But on the bright side, I'm back. Today I've decided to make a really special video. We're going to be looking at Weird Tech Part 2. So yeah, you guys had amazing reactions to my last video, Weird Tech Part 1. Fascinating video indeed. We looked at, I think it was 6 really weird tech. If you haven't seen that video, check it out right now in the link above here. I I don't know where it is. But anyways, to the video right now. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are too. Let's get into it. Alright, so we're going to be using the weird tech subreddit again. The one we used last time. Um, yeah, so I think I found some really cool stuff. The first one is a dinosaur top. A dinosaur taco holder. Are the chairs? I, I, don't, I don't even know if you can define this as tech, but I found the uh, kid here. Oh, so good. Yeah. <laughs> really, really. I mean, look at it. I would straight up want this. Yes. Dinosaur taco holder. For people who love dinosaurs and tacos. Who wouldn't want this? Put your taco in this gloss. I don't even know. No, that was. Let's go! He looks so excited. It's, it's wonderful. Oh yeah, what is this called? It's a Triceratops! Alright, next up. Oh wait, before we go, I have to rate this, right? Uh, because this isn't technology and because this was just, you know, it's pretty bad, I'm gonna give it a 4 out of 10. Alright, now I'm, I'm scoring through um, weird tech, right? And um, the weird technology subreddit. It's extremely confusing because it has stuff not even related to technology. Like this, this was very, very fascinating. I mean, that, my friends, that's cool stuff. It is an electronic headband that prevents migraines with tiny jolts. It's like a Star Trek headband that sends electric shots to your head, which is buzzing, right? Buzzing your head. Saw my rig. How awesome <coughs> is that? Pain specialist and anesthesiologist. Uh, pain specialist and anesthesiologist. Oh, that was first try. Have used what's called transitional electric nerve stimulation. Oh, yeah. transition, transition, yes, transition, yes, Tran transition, yes, electrical nerve stimulation for tens. To relieve pain for decades. This is actually pretty cool. I mean, oh, all right, five out of ten. So if you guys watched my last weird tech video, you would remember the. You would remember the. Put the face on the toes. I, I don't know what it's called, but it was really really cool. Now I found another one, but this is. It's a coffee machine. It's a coffee machine that puts your face on coffee. And it's surprisingly, surprisingly, actually pretty cool. I mean, look at it. This is, this paragraph is so poetic. They saw it as a blank canvas before their eyes. I thought it would be great to personalize that canvas with a message, photo, or low. In that moment, Ripples was born. Its marquee product is Ripple Maker, an internet connected, Wi Fi enabled device that takes in any image or message from a computer file and prints it on the top of coffee. Froth. Sorry. Coffee froth with coffee extracts. From start to finish, the process just takes seconds. And it's oh so cool. <laughs> this is okay, so when you buy this, you have to pay for you have to pay a thousand bucks. I can get a good iPhone for that, come on. And of course you have to pay 85 for you know subscription charges, stuff like that. Wow. That's a video, this is a video. Ooh, that's 
actually quite fancy, to be honest. Oh, so they're making a copy right now. Put it in the little machine. Oh, and list it up something? This is the Ripple Maker. Your Ripple Maker can customize copy with high quality images in just a few seconds. Whoa. Ripples are made of tiny coffee bean drops that keep the natural quality and flavor of your coffee. The Ripple Maker is part of a platform made up of your machine, the website, and a mobile app. It comes preloaded with a library of ripples categorized into themes oh. Oh. like greetings, smart quotes, coffee humor, and many more. Co coffee humor. Through the Ripple's website, you can customize the themes. Oh, quick typing right there. And even create your own Ripples. Since you know your customers best, creating your own Ripples is a great way to give them a personal experience and gain their loyalty. With the Ripples app, your customers can create Ripples of their own while ordering their coffee. They can even connect via Facebook. So you can surprise them with a personalized Ripple, uniquely created for them. The Ripple It button is a useful interface option that makes quick random selections. Can we purchase this product? We need two. This is actually pretty cool. I mean, I, I would actually... Whoa! Alright, Ripple Maker, I'm gonna give you... 6 out of 10. Okay, so like... As I told you, not everything in weird technology Reddit is necessarily related to technology, but in this case, I have to show it. I mean, come on. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a hand chopper that protects hands when you're cutting stuff with a knife. I mean, it's, it's genius. <laughs> the next one okay so like this this is actually cool this is a video belt buckle a belt buckle that is literally a play video so basically what this is is basically just a device right zoom in so this is basically a device that it's a three inch screen it's mounted on a stainless um, steel imaging anyways it plays a video that you've installed in an SD card just imagine wearing a video on top. Um, the website's motto is, um, we come from the future. Yeah, I can believe that. I can definitely believe that. This, mm, this definitely looks like it's from the future. No, using a cell phone isn't causing you to grow a horn. Wait, what? This freaky, okay, this is weird tech, ladies and gentlemen. This is a fantastic website. I don't even know how I to practice. This is epic. This freaky robot is powered by blood. Yes! In an effort to create more autonomous, lifelike robots, scientists have developed a soft robotic lionfish. So, what it does, it actually uses synthetic blood. Okay, that. Oh, yeah. So, inside now you can see in this picture. So, basically, um. This is the dissection of it, um, and you can see there's a motor inside and it pumps blood around the fish. That's all blood. That's actually so cool. Alright, okay. Six out of ten. Yeah. Okay, so I just got distracted on YouTube just now. It's complicated. A Weird Tech episode is never completed without a robot. So ladies and gentlemen, here I introduce you to my little friend, Atlas. Here we can see Atlas cleaning some ladders. Putting to the side. So what Atlas function is, of course, is to clean your house. Here we can see him attempting to pull oh, whatever that is. I oh oh oh. Has a broom. Are those Nerf bullets? The Nerf bullets. Oh, that that's not very good cleaning, Atlas. I'm kind of disappointed there. Oh okay. What to do it? Is that a vacuum cleaner? It is! Trying to press the button. Oh, you actually got the button. Oh, it's 
working on Burgerstown, putting in an investment. This is absolutely perfect. This is brilliant stuff. Paper airplane. No, no, wait. <gasps> It's two of the paper airplanes. Wait, wait, we're gonna, we're gonna have to play that in very much slow mo. Wait, let's see. Let's play that with a group on two five speed. All right, so you can see here. It was the air airplane, and oh, it fly. Oh, oh, never mind. No, sorry, guys. That false call. That was pathetic. I'm disappointed at this. I was expecting much more. Oh, he, oh, he kicked the Alice. How dare you kick the wooden block? It's, it's dancing now like a really weird kid. Oh, the leg. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Atlas just dabbed on us. Alice, that is disrespect. I am disappointed. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh. I'm not saying anything, that was um, that was impressive stuff guys. So for Alice, I'm giving him an 8 out of 10. Alright guys, that covers weird technology for today. It's been absolutely fantastic, me getting distracted, of course, finding an entirely new website to um for you know for the future episodes. Yeah, whoa. I mean you guys have to check this weird tech Reddit. This weird technology subreddit out, it is fantastic stuff. I mean, look at it. We have a barnacle windshield blocker here, fidget cube, self-repairing screen protector. Hold on a minute, guys. A self-repairing screen protector for iPhone success. Just within a second. It's all thanks to the micro captions and coaching. When these are damaged, they release an adhesive like liquid to fill the gaps. As you can see, it really works, but obviously, it's no good if you scratch a bit too hard like we're doing here. Inner Exile says this self heating coating can resist a bronze brush weight of up to 2 kilograms. So, thank you all for watching this episode. It's been absolutely fantastic looking at all this awesome, awesome tech. I'll leave the link for the Reddit in the description below. So, guys, I recommend go checking that out. Punch that like button. Ring that notification bell, please comment, it means a lot to me, and of course, leave that sub. Alright guys, see you in the next one.